Hey, welcome back and thank you for watching. Uh, this is the leaf cleanup video. So I'm gonna go through a couple uh, different things this year than I've done in past years. I'm gonna start with something you've probably never seen, leaf density, so stick around for that. Uh, I'm gonna talk about a couple scenarios you might run into related to leaf cleanup that might make it a little more difficult. Then I'm gonna go through the options that I'm aware of, or at least the major options uh, for leaf cleanup in the fall. And then I'll go and show you all the Massey uh, footage with the mid-mount mower tech deck just chopping through them. Uh, so uh, this video will be chaptered, uh, so you can just jump around as needed. Uh, so let's get started. All right, so first up is the leaf density. So I'll cut here, you know, so I, I, I took a couple of leaves and uh, red oak, black oak, chestnut oak, white oak, and a couple tulip poppers, cut them to equal sizes and weighed them. They, I collected them all at the same time, kind of held them for a week or two. And what I conferred was, you know, what I kind of knew is that these oak leaves are very, very dense, up to three times um, as, as heavy as uh, the equal section of, of a tulip poplar. And I know like hickories and uh, the gum trees, I mean, they're kind of light leaves as well. I should have tried a maple, but I, for, I forgot to grab a maple. Uh, so if, you're want, if you see these videos online and people are cleaning up leaves, you're like, man, it's just harder than that. Why is, why is it so easier for them and harder uh, for me? It may just be the kind of leaves you have. So then another factor that you might have that uh, might impact your ability uh, versus you know, these like perfect cleanup scenarios you see on TV uh, or on other videos might just be you know, your conditions. So you might live in an area where it's a little more wet. Uh, you might live in an area where you get tons of gusts of wind and leaves kind of drift like you know, snow and you know, pile up and everything. I'll show you a video here. Uh, we had some wind last week and it cleared like a 20 by 20 section of leaves and piled them up elsewhere in like 10 seconds. It was just a huge gust of wind. It was amazing. And, and you know, that kind of stuff happens all the time. So, you know, this scenario where you're always going to stay ahead of it and the leaves are going to be equally distributed across the ground al along your yard and you're just going to cut right through them uh, evenly is not necessarily the case. Uh, so, you know, between that and just kind of moisture and density of leaves, all these things are going to impact your ability in the fall to do leaf cleanup. All right, so now I'm going to switch gears and talk about the uh, ways of cleanup that I'm aware of, or at least the major ones I've written down here. Uh, so top of the list, DR uh, leaf vacuum. Uh, I think that's what it's called. Uh, so it's, you know, you tow it behind, it's got a big collection bin, it's got a secondary mulcher uh, with a, uh, probably I think it's a gas power engine attached to it. Uh, does a great job. I mean, your, your mower deck mulches some, that thing mulches some, you get this really dense pile of leaves at the end. Um, so there's really nothing wrong with that other than you need a place to dump the leaves. So if you don't have a place to dump them, that might be a problem. Then if you don't want to pay the money for that, there's, and you see one of my past videos, the DIY leaf collector. Now it doesn't have the secondary mulcher, uh, but if you've got a little cart and some tarp and some spare wood, uh, it's a pretty good way of uh, doing leaf uh, collection without spending all that money. So now this other thing I came across, and I, I guess this is maybe specific to John Deere, but it's called the um, John Deere Power Flow. Uh, so this has a little, uh, I guess, booster that hooks into the belts from your deck that helps uh, with leaf collection. I'm not sure if it mulches a little bit or if it's just kind of like giving it a little extra power to shoot the leaves through uh, the tube. Because one of the big problems with leaf collection uh, via a tube like that is the tubes get clogged. So a lot of people will do a lap around the yard to sort of mulch things up and get them fine first. Then we'll do another lap around to do the actual uh, collection. Uh, and I think I'm showing you a video of that right now. So, that, I mean, that works well. Uh, it's just a two-step process. All right, so hopefully that boy's starting to get breezy here today. Uh, so then the other one I got is the blowers. So you'd have the walk-behind blowers or the backpack blowers. And I can tell you, those walk-behind blowers are beasts. I mean, those things work really good. And sometimes, rather than actually walking behind them, some people will either mount them to their three-point hitch, uh, sort of like clamp them on, or I've even seen them mounted to like pallet forks or even the bucket of a tractor. And then the two major brands I'm aware of are Little Wonder and Billy Goat. Little Wonder seems to be a little bit better. Uh, it's been 20 years since I've used to walk behind blowers. So I'm not really up on which is the best brand. Uh, but I know those things are, are beasts. But then if you really want to go to the beast mode blower, 
Uh, there's the Buffalo Turbine. Mike Morgan just got one of these. They're super expensive. You can get the, the ones you pull behind that have their own engine. You can get ones that uh, attach to your rear 540 uh, PTO, and they just blow leaves like crazy. Obviously, you need a place to blow them. You know, if you got woods, you know, surrounding your property, uh, you just blow them into the woods. Uh, but boy, those things are just unbelievable. They're also unbelievably expensive. I think they're like four or five grand. I mean, very, very expensive, but also a very good option uh, if you've got the money. So then I, I missed it earlier, but you know, the backpack blower, you saw them sort of comparing that to the walk behind blower. So of course, backpack, uh, battery handheld, uh, corded, you know, any, you know, blower like that's an option too. But for a large yard cleanup, even the backpack mower, I used that one year here. That's a lot of work uh, to try to do a backpack uh, blower with the yard, uh, yard this large. And then last up is the pine straw rake in the, in the bucket on the tractor with the edge tamer. So I used that uh, last year and I think maybe the year before, and it works great. Uh, you know, really it's, it's a lot less dusty, at least for me, uh, where I have kind of like patchy grass. Um, it just does a really good job. I still have to go around with the Cub Cadet and do like the final, final touch up with the bagger. Uh, but you can just collect and push a ton of leaves uh, using uh, that method. And it's relatively cheap, too. I mean, pine straw rakes are not that expensive, and the edge tamers are not uh, either. And, of course, if you got a tractor, it came with a loader and, and, and a bucket, I hope. And then kind of tagging on to that is the uh, homemade or DIY scoop. And here's just one example. There's all kinds of people who have posted things. It's just a more recent one that I saw uh, where people scoop them up. Now, this particular one doesn't look like it's really worn much, so I don't think there's been much scooping going on uh, where the edges of that wood would have been uh, worn a little bit, but it's one way to kind of you know, pick them up. Rather than use like a tarp uh, and drag them all over the place, you can get them in the tractor and scoop them into the uh, woods that way. Okay, so then before we get to the tractor, I'm gonna show you the Cub Cadet. Uh, so it did a pretty good job this year because the leaves were dry. Uh, but just know that uh, when the leaves are normal, it's not even close to being this easy. Uh, so then here's uh, kind of a look at the yard, the side, the front, the pool, the back, to sort of give you a general idea of just what I'm up against. Uh, you know, these leaves are very thick. Of course, the pool is a lost cause. There's no way I can, you know, use the tractor in the pool area uh, or really even the lawnmower. I can sort of get the Cub Cadet in there and the grass but you know there is a lot of manual work just raking them off the pool cover uh but you know these leaves are very thick and you saw the video earlier where you know wind gusts may pile them up you know the wind may pile them up against the pool fence uh, i mean it really is quite a, a challenge and then here i am doing the cleanup so this is an october 27th cleanup that i did um, i probably didn't mean to do it that day uh, I was just, you know, playing with the tractor, uh, cause you know, they'll get thick, but you know, at a certain point, it, it really just seems like the, uh, Massey will just cut right through these leaves and, uh, it really doesn't matter how thick they are. I'll show you a little bit later. You'll see where the deck kind of acts as a plow as well. Uh, and I'll tell you the sort of the technique that I, I ended up using there. Uh, when the deck sort of bunches the leaves up in front. But that's the October 27th cleanup. And then here's kind of how that looked like at the end after it was all done. Uh, I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, you know, it still leaves some debris, you know, some little stuff here and there. But overall, I mean, it really turns out pretty good with just, you know, the Massey. And then here's a look at the November 7th cleanup. You can see they were pretty thick uh, leaves, even at, at that point, a couple. Uh, what days later. Uh, so, you know, the Massey cut through the leaves again, I think really well. Um, so it's coming up here at a certain point, you'll see uh, the deck sort of piling up the leaves and what ended up happening there um, as I pile them up, I just sort of steer into uh, the thickest part of the leaves, you know, instead of just like stopping in front and then leaving a pile. So I sort of push the leaves where I want them to be, um, which is really at the end of the woods, before I back out of it and get them out from under uh, the tractor. So uh, in a way, the, the deck and the tractor, uh, minus the loader even, uh, becomes sort of a leaf plow. 
And then, you know, last up here is the driveway. The driveway is a mess. It's very, very difficult. Uh, it's dusty. It's dirty. But you can see it really kind of cut through it pretty well. Um, I was pretty happy. It left a little bit of debris behind. And you can also see on the reverse stroke, it doesn't quite clean up as well. That, that uh, shows up really well in the driveway. Um, doesn't quite clean up as well as going forward. Uh, but it still, I think, really just does a great job of turning the leaves into nothing. Now, unfortunately, this is the driest summer ever, really, uh, or a fall ever. Uh, so it's not a great measure of a tough conditions, but it's all I've got this year. Uh, so anyway, that was the cleanup this year. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions, post them in the comments, and I'd be happy to answer. So thanks for watching.